Hello guys, this is Jack and I'm a double and math tutor for the Jack Tutoring. In the previous video, we talked about the direct current or the DC current. And now in this video, we are focusing more on the AC or the alternating current. So recall from the previous video, um, electric current is the flow of electric charge that carry by the moving electron. So look at this figure. We have the voltage supply, the current flo flowing from the left to right and then coming back throughout the circuit. So this type of circuit is called the DC type because the current is unidirectional. It's flow from left to right all the time. There are two types of, uh, of current. One is DC we studied before, direct current, and now we study AC current. So the, the graph of DC current, as you can recall from previous video, is that at t equal 0 from t equal 0 up to t equal infinity, the current I has a constant value. The slope is 0. And the example of that is battery, like double-A, triple-A battery or solar cells and now AC is the current that varies sinusoidally with time so looking at this figure you can see that the, the current is depend on the time t so at t equals 0 is from this figure t equal 0 is it equal the current is 0 but then when you vary the time t the current is changing and the slope is not 0 compared to, to the previous picture and commonly we represent the AC current with a sine wave but there are many other applications um, in which we use um, triangle or square wave depending on the application that um, you are using so for example we can have something like um, square wave you can see that the current is also reversing the direction so it's positive here at one side and then it become negative in the other side um, the same is true for the side wave an example of that would be the socket um, in your house. So the electric company is transmit is always trans transmit the AC power to your house, and the reason be the reason that it used the AC instead of DC because AC is more efficient and it can be transmit in a long distance, for example, a few hundred kilometers. Um, and they use something called the trans transformer to step, step down the vortex um, when it gets to your house. Because AC is also easier to increase the vortex up to a few um, or hundred thousand vortex on the transmission line but then when it reaches to your city it can step down to 120 volts to its house so in general it can deliver a large amount of, of electric power to a given area area so another example about AC current is that the radio and audio wave are also carried by the alternating current or the AC current and we know that in the US um, the common voltage is 120 volts with 60 hertz that means the current is um, reversing the direction 60 times per second and comparing to other countries like um, Asia or Europe 
they are using 230 volts with 50 hertz um, so a little bit like different than the US so their electronic devices are designed a, a little bit different than us because we have to make sure that when you plug in the electric um, devices it has to be able to support um, the give, given amount of voltage otherwise it may be explode or broken if you plug in in the wrong um, power supply so with that um, we have an example um, really simple so for um, the total vote the, the total charge entering a terminal is given by the Q the charge Q which is 5t psi 4 pi t milli coulomb so you can imagine that as something like a terminal of a wire and then the charge is coming here and you want to measure the current um, at a time t equals 0 0.5 second for example we are going to measure it right here t equals 0 0.5 second so what is the current um, from the previous video we know that the current is the ray of chain of the charge with respect to the time so taking the derivative of the, the charge Q we will get the current I so we have the expression for the Q here you can take the derivative of this which is this expression using the, um, the product rule and we have the time T um, for the charge for the current and you want a specific time at t equals 0 0.5 so plug in t equals 0 0.5 in this um, expression we just uh, found here and you can find that this term becomes 0 because psi of 2 pi is 0 and cos of 2 pi is 1 so we, have, we end up with 10 pi and 10 pi is actually 31.42 and the unit is milliamp because we are using um, the milli coulomb and um, dq over dt is actually the unit is um, milli coulomb over the second which is milliamp or milliampere so that's all about the AC current and thanks for watching